Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to go through the first configuration of Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. So let's get right into it. First we're going to press this blue button over here. It will just uh, display uh, the welcome message in different languages. So let's proceed. Then we need to select our country or region. So choose your region and then proceed by pressing next. Now over here we need to select at least that we agree to the end user license agreement the rest is optional we can press next then we have the option to set up our galaxy a25 5g by using another device so you can copy all settings accounts and so on and so forth from your older device uh, but in my case i don't have my old device right next to me so i'm gonna set up manually if you actually want to do that then you have uh, the option to choose Galaxy or Android device or iPhone or iPad. So let's set up manually. And now we need to choose our Wi-Fi network and connect to Wi-Fi. I have already done that, but you should see the list of Wi-Fi. You should be able to simply select the uh, network, enter the password and then press connect. If you want to, you can also use the QR code scanner, which is located over here. Let's go next after choosing the network. And now we need to wait for the next screen to appear. This might take a couple of minutes. And then we should see the option to copy apps and data from another device. So once again, we have the option to transfer. In my case, I'm not gonna do that. If you want to just simply press next and then follow the instructions to do so. But of course you can still do that later in the device settings. So let's wait for another screen to show up. There we go. We can now sign into Google if you have already your account, your Google account, then you can enter the email or phone number over here. And you can also create an account over here by choosing create account text. And then of course we can press next. If you want to, you can also skip this process and sign in later. I'm gonna actually sign in right now. And of course, if you provide the email, then you need to enter the password and press next. And of course, if needed, we also have forgot password option over here. So if you lost your password, just go uh, to that option instead. Now we need to choose who will be using this device. In my case, I will be using this device, so of course it, it is already selected. But if in your case your child will be using this device, then you have this option as well. So then we can choose next once we select this. Now let's agree to terms of service. And let's wait for another screen to show up. We should see getting account info. Then we have the information about some settings. Um, they are probably related to Google, like location, Google services, and so on and so forth. So we can press got it. And now over here, we have the option to backup device data, use location, allow scanning. We can also send usage and diagnostic data, and we can decide what we want to use. In my case, I'm not gonna perform the backup, but of course, in your case, if you want to make backup of your device, then you want to make sure that this option is enabled. I'm going to just simply disable everything and then uh, let's go accept. Then we need to choose our search provider. So let's go next. Actually, okay. So in my case, I already selected Google because I've been on this screen before. But in your case, uh, you should be able to choose one of the service providers from the list. The most popular choice is, of course, Google. So if you don't know which one to choose, Google is the uh, default uh, way to go. All right, let's go next. Then we can immediately set up the password or the screen lock for our device. So if you want to, you can do that. You can also immediately add your fingerprint and face recognition. But of course, if you don't want to do that right now, you can do this later in the settings. Be sure to check out my channel to find the tutorials for these things as well. So let's skip this for now. And I'm going to skip anyway. I'm not going to bother with uh, setting up the screen lock right now. Over here, we have the Hey Google voice assistant. We can scroll all the way down and either agree or skip. I'm not gonna use um, this feature right now, so I'm gonna skip as well. Then we have the assistant. And once again, um, I'm gonna skip this one. It's of course your choice if you want to use these things or not. Then we have the Samsung account set up, which is also uh, optional actually, even though there seems to be no option to opt out of this. And uh, in order to not use Google, uh, Samsung account, we can choose forgot password or don't have an account and then choose to set up later in the settings. But if you want to sign in, then of course you have all these options over here. If you choose to sign in, you need to agree to terms and conditions as well as special terms. 
scroll all the way down and then you can press to agree. On the other hand, if you decide to skip, you will see the reasons why you shouldn't skip, but of course you can still skip anyway and you can sign in later. Then we have uh, the service legal information where we need to agree to terms and conditions. And then let's go and agree. We have the service permissions where we can allow customization service and smart suggestions. So I'm going to agree to that actually. Then we can choose the display mode where we can set up the light or dark theme. I'm going to stick with light. And now let's wait for the device to show another thing. Uh, now we have recommended apps and apparently TikTok is a recommended app. So we need to press next. I don't think there is anything that we can do with this right now. We can finish. Of course, later on we can remove the bloatware. So every app that um, that we think is just uh, pointless to have. And we should apparently go to the sim manager. So I'm going to choose done for now. But this is the screen that you most likely see where we can uh, discover and install great apps. Um, so we can either choose to do that later or we can continue. I'm going to actually continue. So I'm going to check what it is about. So we have some recommended apps that we are being suggested to install like Royal Match, KFC and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, if you want to select something, then you can tap on the circle in order to select this thing. But you can also tap on it in order to, of course, uncheck. So if you don't want to install any of these, then you can just scroll through the list to find out if there's anything that you don't want to use and then just choose finish and there we go all done let's go finish and that is pretty much it as you can see now we can start using our device freely we can go through the settings we can install all apps that we wish to have so you are free to use the device as you wish and that is the first configuration the initial configuration done Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos, bye!